Welcome to the Transformative Principal Podcast, where we learn how to be an amazing educational leader. I am your host, Jethro Jones. Are you ready to be a transformative principal? I'm looking for about 10 people who are ready to do what it takes to lead with integrity, find balance, and take your school to the next level. If you're looking to improve your leadership in a measurable way, go to transformativeprincipal.org slash mastermind to see if you qualify to join a group of like-minded people who are ready to be the best principals in the country. Welcome to the Transformative Principal Podcast. I am your host, Jethro Jones, and I am excited that you have taken a minute to download this and listen to these great tips and advice from wonderful principals all across the country. If you're a new principal, I made this just for you, and I hope that you have found it and that it is beneficial and it gives you something to reflect on. The best piece of advice I can give you after listening to what they say is to go to transformativeprincipal.org slash ideal week and sign up to go through that program that is totally free that you can do to improve your week so that you have all the success you need and everything's planned out and ready for you to rock. So go to transformativeprincipal.org slash ideal week and sign up for that today. It'll change your life. Trust me. Good afternoon. My name is Gerard Phillips. I'm an associate principal at Seaford Middle School in Southern Delaware, Seaford, Delaware. I can be connected with via Twitter at JAPhillips0722 or on Voxer at the same um, handle, J.A. Phillips 0722. And if I would go back and tell myself as a first-year assistant principal, it would be to throw out the notion that all teachers were low-maintenance or thought like I did when it came to trying to get better every day, self-reflection, and only using admin when I needed them. So that was a huge eye-opener for me in going back um, to my second year trying to figure out a way how I can support staff and instill a lot of those traits in them so that they can end up being self-sufficient and, you know, modeling, learning on a daily basis for their students. My name is uh, Doug Tim. I'm the principal at a kindergarten through fifth grade school in Newcastle, Delaware. My Twitter handle is at DougTim34. As a first-year principal, I would go back and tell myself that no matter what, you're always being watched. You're someone that the staff, the students, the parents, um, your boss, everyone is looking at to see how do you react to different situations, whether it be a kid who is misbehaving or a difficult conversation you have to have with a staff member. Um, you're always being watched to see how your face reacts, how you react. Do you get frustrated too easily? Do you give up on things? It is just super important to realize that no longer can you hide behind anything because as a principal you are the leader of the building and having known that um, my first year I probably would have reacted to a number of situations much differently than I did and I think I showed frustrations at times when I possibly and probably didn't need to. Um, it's good to be vulnerable but it's not good to show emotion in times and places where you don't need to show emotion so just keep in mind that you always are being watched. Hey, this is Jessica Cabine on Twitter. I'm at, at Jessica Cabine, and my blog is Principal in Balance. Something, if I could go back to myself uh, as a first year principal, I would say take care of yourself. The job will always be there, but it's so critically important for you to take care of yourself and your family and to take a break from leading. You're not going to be good to anyone unless you're good to yourself first. So good luck and, and keep doing the hard work. Hi, my name is Susan Melby. I am from um, Sudley, Virginia. I'm the principal at Nottoway Elementary School. My Twitter handle is at Susan Melby. Um, the answer of what would I go back and tell myself as a first year principal, I would definitely the power of connection. You need to definitely make sure that you stay connected to other principals just to keep the ideas going and to talk about your frustrations and what can you do to make your school better. Hi, my name is Jessica Gomez, and my Twitter handle is at jgomezprincipal. I would go back and tell myself as a first-year principal that culture and relationships first, always. Culture and relationships are the foundation for any success at a school site. Hey, uh, Jessica Hutchison here. 
Um, I am an elementary principal in the Chicagoland area, and you can find me on Twitter at um, my principal Hutch or at Hutch Jess Ica. And if I could go back and tell myself as a first year principal, I would go back and tell myself, um, God, don't put it all on your plate in the first year. Uh, you can't do it, and you will drive yourself batty and need way more hair color to color your dyes, uh, your grays, if you try to do it all in the first year. Um, so start small. Make make your list of things you have to do right now and things just your wish list for the future. So, Hi, this is Laura Gennaro. You can follow me on Twitter at Laura underscore Gennaro. And I would go back and tell myself as a first-year principal to take the time and build relationships. You just need to meet the staff, get to know them, learn the history of the building, and then start coming up with a plan of what to do. But for that first six months, just take the time to get to know your people. Kirsten Santarelli. I can be found on Twitter at at KSantarelli1. If I could go back and tell myself as a first-year principal what to focus on, it would definitely be on building culture. Um, forget about all of the new wave things on reading and writing and math and focus on building that culture and relationships, not only with your students, with your staff and parents. Tracy Allen at Principal T. Allen or at Tracy Allen 409 on Voxer. I would go back and tell myself as a first year principal the power and importance of being a connected educator, not just within the principals within my district, but across the United States. The power of being connected cannot be compared to anything. Hi, I'm Lisa Vega from Prince William County Public Schools. My Twitter is LV17. And as an assistant principal, what I would say you have to prioritize and put the most important things at the top of your to-do list with students being the focus uh, and learn to say no. Uh, I, f I found as my career as an assistant principal there are so many things that come to take your attention away from the students and getting into the classrooms. Um, to have the ability to say no is a useful skill. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lindsay Stumpenhorst. You can connect with me on Twitter at L.M. Stump. I would go back and tell myself as a first-year principal to not move fast. It's okay to go slow. Hi, my name is Claire Giardino, and a way to connect with me on Twitter is at Giardino3. I would go back and tell myself as a first-year principal to be transparent and communicate as much as possible. Hi, my name is Melissa Kartsimus, and my Twitter handle is at Teacher Melissa. I would go back and tell myself as a first-year principal that it's all about relationships. Take the time to form meaningful relationships with your staff and your students and all other stakeholders. Hi, my name is Lynn Colon, and if I could go back and tell myself um, anything as a first-year principal, it would be to take... Uh, time to build relationships. I look at it as a relationship, right? That first year you're dating your staff, so it's really important to get to know each other, um, what works, what doesn't, so that hopefully the next year you can move into the engagement year and then marry your staff. Hi, I'm Liz Garden. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Principal Garden or on Voxer at Principal Garden. And if I could go back and tell myself as a first-year principal, um, I think I would tell myself to um, be connected. I would tell myself that you're not alone, um, even though it feels like that a lot. And I would also tell myself to um, just stop <laughs> and think before you make a decision or when people come to you with problems, I would really just say stop and think about it before you act. Hi, my name is Kelly Begley McCall. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at McCall underscore Kelly. If I could go back and tell myself as a first year principal anything, it would be to be willing to learn and listen to those around you, but at the same time, make sure that you stand by your convictions and your values and your beliefs because you're there for a reason and hopefully it's for kids. Everybody, my name is Joe Sanfilippo. I'm the superintendent in the Fall Creek School District, home of the Fall Creek Crickets. My Twitter handle is at 
J O E S A N F E L I P P O F C. And if I could go back and tell myself as a first year principal, the one thing that I would tell myself is make better connections with your staff. Take the time, understand you're not going to get to everything, but if you do the drive by wave, it doesn't help the situation. Take time, sit down, get to know them, know something specific about everybody on your staff, and then reference that throughout the course of the year. Because the more connections that you can make with them from a personal standpoint, the better you're going to be in the long run. So definitely make personal connections with more people. Hi, my name is Jenny McDonald, and my Twitter handle is at Jenny McDonald, G-I-N-N-I-M-C-D-O-N-A-L-D. The answer that I would give for the question, uh, if I could go back and tell myself as a first-year principal, the answer to that would be I would tell myself there is no real big emergency that you can stop and work through about anything. And I would tell myself to enjoy those moments and breathe and enjoy the rewards. My name is Brad Ray. I'm an assistant principal at Northside High School in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm starting my fifth year as an assistant. Uh, Previously, I was a principal at an alternative school for three years and a middle school for one year. Advice I would give starting principals after their first year or looking back after my first year would be to uh, do not be afraid to relinquish control to lead teachers, assistant principals, because one person cannot do it all. And you have to trust in the people that you hire and the people that are around you to help your building succeed. Looking back on my principal years, now that I am an assistant principal, I believe it's important as an assistant principal to to take initiatives to help out your principal without being told. It's the principal role is so vital to the school and and it is so enormous, the the responsibilities that uh, assistant principals have to serve Uh, in a support capacity and the more you can do to support your principal in your school I believe you set your team up your administrative team up for success. Hello my name is Jennifer Steele and I'm an assistant principal at Northside High School in Fort Smith Arkansas. My Twitter name is at Jennifer L. Steele and if I could go back and tell myself as a first year assistant principal uh, something or remind myself of something it would be that you're not always going to get your task list done at the end of the day And if you do not keep that in mind, you will often feel like you're being ineffective. But uh, there is always something to be done as an assistant principal, and so you must remember that that you will probably leave a stack of tasks undone at the end of the day. What would I tell myself as a first-year principal? All right, that's a good one. I'm Brad Gustafson, principal at Greenwood Elementary in Minnesota. And before I would tell myself the one thing, I'll get to that in a second, I would be thinking about the profound difference that educators and principals can have in the lives of kids and staff and just never take that for granted and just always be thinking about one subtle little word or look. I mean, it's everything matters. So that's kind of the context of this. But the, the thing that I would also tell myself is that in addition to having your own passion and vision and creating a shared vision, just make sure to relentlessly pursue and understand and unearth other people's talents and passions because you can go so far together. And when people feel uh, appreciated and that their gifts and their leadership matters, the, every, everything is changed and transformed. That's it. Under a minute. Hello, my name is Ben Gilpin, and my Twitter handle is at Benjamin Gilpin. Uh, I am the elementary principal at Warner in Spring Arbor, Michigan. And if I could go back and tell my something, tell myself something as a first-year principal, where to even begin? I guess what I would really want to tell myself is you don't have to be perfect. You, you, don't, have to, you don't have to have all the answers. Lean on your people. Lean on the people around you. And take some risks, make some mistakes, learn from your mistakes. To me, that's what education's about. That's what we want our kids to understand as well. Um, and that, that's what I would tell myself as a first-year principal is, is make, make the mistakes and, and laugh at yourself. Don't be so serious. That's, that's what it all comes down to. 
Hello, my name is Brad Gustafson. I'm an elementary principal in Minnesota. My Twitter handle is at Gustafson Brad. If I could tell myself something or go back in time, I would say get in the cafeteria and try school lunch. It's really not as bad as everyone says. Those mini corn dogs are amazing. I'm not kidding. But the real thing I would tell myself that was partially a joke would be just as important as your vision as a leader is and your passions and your relationship building, it's unearthing and discovering and relentlessly pursuing the passions of your people and your staff and your students. That is so important, and your campus will go so much further together with everyone's passions coming to light and being celebrated. That's it. Mini corn dogs and others' passions. Hey there, this is Danny Sunshine Bauer from Better Leaders, Better Schools. You can connect with me there, betterleadersbetterschools.com or Alien Earbud all over social media. That's a weird anagram from Daniel Bauer. Take the letters, move them around, but that's getting too deep into why my name is so weird on social media. Uh, in terms of how I would answer the question, I'd go back and tell myself as a first-year principal, uh, it's, it's this idea of no excuses for yourself. Uh, I, I taught a presentation at this principal's conference on productivity and what a lot of people said is thank you for giving me permission to take care of myself so prioritize your own self-care don't point fingers at the district like they're not developing me or you know just this woe is me type syndrome you can take control there's plenty out there uh it's it's online it's youtube it's podcasts it's everything and you can be that type of leader you want to be but you got to take control of it